Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to this second episode of Game Disease Git Book. If you haven't checked out the first one yet, please stop on over so you can view the introduction. But without further ado, we're just going to go right into it. Starting off in the tokenomics section, we'll go to the Play to Earn tab. Game Disease's focus is to evolve the profile picture NFT experience into a gaming community built around a play to earn NFT game. Throughout every phase, see the phases section, the goal is to develop both a game where players are rewarded for their time, effort, and mastery, as well as an economy built around game components owned by the players, sickos, items, and tokens, which can be traded in open peer-to-peer -peer markets for other crypto assets. A growing community will boost game disease's peer-to-peer game-based economy. A strong community is key to creating a fun and unique universe with economic value and networking effect within the game. Aligned with this goal, an ERC-20 game disease token, please see the GD's token section, was created and distributed partly to actively engage players as they achieved in-game milestones. And if we scroll down, we will see a graphic of the L1 and L2 layers on how the game disease ecosystem is going to balance itself and play off of each other with the flow of coins between mini games, the marketplace, staking, etc. For the sake of time, I'm not going to dive deep into this until another video, but I highly encourage you to head over to the Git book so that you can analyze this for yourselves. Moving on to the army ranks, go claim your roles using forward slash verify wallet based on the number of staked sickos also at the genesis owners the role is back on discord now for lieutenant one to four staked sickos captain five to fifteen staked sickos major 16 to 29 colonel 30 to 44 and generals the big dogs are 45 plus sickos as you can figure out there is a leadership channel that will be for all the colonels and generals they will be using this channel for dropping info hints alpha of course leadership will receive the info first so that incentivizes you to keep pushing keep growing your collection and become the biggest army out there next up is the ecosystem Game Disease is a unique experience with a strong online community that satirizes a vision of society's excesses and sins. The Game Disease team firmly believes in its mission and capacity to successfully implement the project. The Game Disease ecosystem will create a sustainable in-game value across time which is going to be captured, locked, and developed in the GDS token rewarding long-term community members. Onwards to the GDS token tab. The GDES token will be the core of the game disease ecosystem. This ERC token will fulfill three main goals. Players will be able to earn GDES by achieving quests within the game and stealing it from others and use them to mint special, useful items. Long-term commitment to the project will be valued through GDES staking rewards. The GDES will be the governance token for game disease. Actively engaged players will receive a token as a way of distributing voting powers to those who have the skin in the game. We believe those players build and boost our community and have deep knowledge of the game experience. This mechanism with the addition of GDS staking pools is another way of showing appreciation to those who show long-term commitment to the project. Players who stake GDS will receive additional tokens as a reward for their commitment. This is also a good way of distributing value captured through the Game Disease Treasury. You can find more information about total GDS supply in the GDS allocation section. As players interact with the game, they will acquire GDS tokens to access game functionalities. They will earn and spend GDS as they play the game. For instance, users will use GDS to gamble and collect prizes. The GDS token will also enable players to access other game experiences like purchasing items from the merchant. It can also be used to access certain quests or events. Scrolling down, we'll see another image explaining the life cycle of the coins. Moving between holders, treasury, players, NFT secondary market, etc. Again, I'll be going into this map in depth in a later video when I explain the L1, L2 ecosystem. The next section is the GDS allocation. The supply of GDS will be limited to a maximum supply of tokens which will be allocated according to a defined schedule. These will be shared according to community growth and long-term sustainability. Limiting the total supply of tokens is a way of rewarding early adopters and holders while unlocking community growth. The allocation will be divided into different categories, each one playing a special role. In-game and IRL prizes and rewards, staking rewards, 
Developers and Advisors Retribution. Go download this PDF file with more information on tokenomics if you want to learn more. Over in the Economy and Long-Term Sustainability tab, the ultimate goal of Game Disease is to build a long-term peer-to-peer economy and an amazing game experience that pushes aspects of the crypto community to an extreme. This economy, characterized mainly by NFTs, GDS, and physical items, will be sustained by the following main aspects. Creation of a new experience that will unlock the value of peer-to-peer -peer gaming and social network effects while growing the community. All of the different games and experiences will not only make game disease more enjoyable, but also generate value through peer-to-peer -peer markets where users exchange NFTs, example, wearables, and weapons. The Game Disease digital ecosystem will evolve through different phases integrating new features and utilities. In the last phases, sickos will arrive in the new experience on the moon. New components will be unlocked such as lands and new items which will complete sickos stats and customize each player's experience. Exclusive access to the game experience for sicko owners. Expanding the game experience, growing the player's community, and building more use cases for GDS will also allow users to receive value from the treasury's flow which will be distributed through staking rewards. Awards. NFT staking. Staking opened in Q1 of 2022. Early birds in the staking process did benefit from the increased multiplier gaining more GDS tokens. After the players stake their GD or Genesis, thus entering the spaceship, they will start accruing GDS tokens from the predefined allocation. GDS is the most precious in-game token. As players gather their tokens, they will be allowed to restake them to increase their yield every 24 hours. The treasury acts like a buffer between the player and the economy. It collects lost GDS GDs for players and serves as a bankroll for the minigames. It collects lost GDs from players and serves as a bankroll for all the minigames. Next up is the spaceship. The spaceship is an integral part of the game because it helps players prepare for the arrival on the moon and paves the way for the beginning of phase 3. It is divided into 5 main areas. The hub is a central lobby through which players access every other part of the spaceship. The hub also has a bar, our own place in the metaverse where sickos can socialize and get into the skin of their favorite disease characters. It is open 24-7 and will be home of future events. In your room, players can see how many GDS you are earning daily, outfit their GDS with different items and check their quest log. They will also have access to their Moon Doom operating system with access to more L2 interactions such as gasless minting. In the battle simulator, the sewers, players can fight their way out of the sewers gaining GDS tokens. The Pumper's Paradise will host a variety of games where players will have fun engaging and battling and playing. Every sicko has a unique interaction with the game they're playing. Items also play a big part in winning percentages. See items for more information. At the Merchant, players will be able to acquire weapons, wearables, and items in exchange for GDS. Genesis owners will be able to claim an exclusive weapon with exclusive bonuses. Moving on to loyalty bonuses. Stakers will receive proportionally more GDs for every additional month that they stake. NFTs staked in the first month will receive an early bird bonus, a proportional part of 5% of the total NFT staking rewards. Sickos that are staked by the same wallet that minted them will receive a 10% multiplier effect on monthly rewards. NFTs that are staked by the wallet that minted them will receive a fixed GDS bonus, as long as there is at least one NFT staked for every three NFTs minted. NFTs can be unstaked at any time as long as they are not locked and can be restaked without losing the bonuses. Now, as for the Genesis owners. Genesis owners are the core of our community and such status deserves special recognition. As a token of our appreciation for our core community, we would like to inform all Genesis owners that they are eligible to receive two benefits in these first two phases. All Game Disease Genesis pieces can be staked and each artwork from this collection will be equivalent to a specific amount of sickos. The value in sickos of each Genesis artwork is... Rat and Sofa. Two sickos. I'm zero years old and I'm a crypto artist. Three sickos. Mama Beat Joe's Pilgrimage. Four sickos. To the moon! Eight sickos. How I Lost My Days. Sixteen sickos. Hype Boy. Twenty-five sickos. And finally, How Much Am I Worth? Forty-three sickos. Additionally, Genesis owners will have the chance to claim a unique weapon at the merchant. The Genesis weapon will have significant stat boosts. Last but not least is Battle Simulator The Sewers. Down in the depths of the sewers, beyond dirt, beyond rubble, beyond filth, rats were captured and featured in cruel experiments. Many didn't see it through, most became nastier versions of themselves, but three of them evolved to be worthy of the greatest gift of all, consciousness, and also, 
Cleanliness, sort of. If they want to stay alive and get a chance to meet their true destiny, they must escape and battle their way out of the sewers. Battle Simulator The Sewers will be the first platform game launched by Game Disease, where our collectors will be able to select between Rachel, Richie, or Ronnie and battle their way through a series of waves in order to reach the final boss. Every season will include new updates and leaderboards with exclusive prizes and GDS rewards. Now to recap, back in the hub, we were able to hit on the tokenomics phase one and phase two of the project. In the next episode, final episode, we're going to be hitting on the meat and potatoes of it all. The entertainment lounge, which is Pumper's Paradise, gameplay, and what is to come in the exciting parts for these games. Tune in next time for part three, the final episode with the Oat. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll see ya. The Vanilla O is not a registered investment, legal, tax advisor, or broker slash dealer. All investment slash financial opinions expressed by the Vanilla O are from the personal research and experience of the owner of the channel and are intended as educational material. My content is intended to be used and must be used for informational purpose only. It is very important to do your own analysis before making any investment based on your own personal circumstances. You should take independent financial advice from a professional in connection with or independently research and verify any information that you find on a website, whether for the purpose of making an investment decision or otherwise.